Hi there, welcome back. <clears throat> if my sleeves look the same uh, as yesterday's video, it's because it's actually still in in my world. Ooh. <laughs> it's still Tuesday. <laughs> but you'll probably be seeing this either Thursday or Friday, depending on how far along I get in... Um, um, editing and uploading things, but I wanted to create um, a, a, a um, removable cover for Marmaduke. And it looks like that name's sticking. I, anyhow, um, I did not think of this but I was stunned by the ingenuity and the beauty of it when I saw it on um, Rose Hill Paper Cottage in her Christmas Holly journal when she did it on uh, one of her journals. And so that is where I am getting my inspiration um, for what I am about to do. Now, as I hinted in yesterday's video, I'm going to use the cover of this little card. It was always up to me to clean up my mom's room um, after Christmas and put away her Christmas decorations from her, her little room, especially when she was living in the assisted living um, here in my town. So it was so nice for, a, for quite a few years. She was only five minutes away and uh, it was just lovely. It wasn't a nursing home. It was for, it's the kind of facility for seniors that just need someone to make sure they've taken their pills, someone to uh, light housekeeping meals, but um, no, no big health problems. And her dementia was still mild enough that she had many happy years there. Um, anyhow, obviously at some point, um, when I was putting her things away, this card caught my eye. And uh, she wasn't one to keep cards. And uh, so I kept it. <laughs> and it was from my daughter and uh, her family to my mom. So uh, we're going to use this. And if you want to see the original beautiful version of what, um, that's nice cardstock. I, I'm not sure if I'll save it or not because there's handwriting on it. That's sweet. Um, um, I'll put a link to the flip through below. Um, I, yesterday I linked her whole channel so you may have already found what I'm talking about. Um, but um, if not, the flip through for the video that I'm in particular that I'm talking about, it's, um, it's just beautiful. It's like a plate, a beautiful Christmas postcard that has eyelets and then ribbons that tie around. So I want to make this into the removable plate for the cover. And um, I think I'm going to use um, either red sari silk or um, gold sari silk. Now I think I'm going to have to go get some more. That might be gold overload. That red is very nice. Um, we'll get to that. But in the meantime, I want to cover the back um, so that when it's taken off, maybe the new owner wants to write their own name and date and um, for when they were writing in this particular journal. So I want to take a look at this paper here. I just got it this year. It's old, or it certainly looks old. And um, 
I liked some of the pictures on it and I thought it might be fun for uh, Christmas journals and obviously they have really taped this together. Fortunately, I don't intend to use it for wrapping. I want some of these squares. Aren't they kind of cute? So I've got to find the ones that I want. Like, I, I like this wreath. And I like the little cabin. It looks a little, um, I like, there's a bell over here. It, it reminds me a bit of, um, there's a Nova Scotia artist. Oh, I forget her name now. Her artwork is quite famous now. It's similar to what you think of when you think of Grandma Moses' kind of primitive paintings. That's what I thought of when I saw these. So, there we go. I just want some of these. We'll see what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry I'm off camera. There we go. Just got in from a lovely walk with the, the little you-know-who. She's just walking lovelier and lovelier on leash. It's, uh, it's just a pleasure now. Yeah. Now I'm going to, I need to know how wide to make this. It's going to need to come in. This this length, I'm not going to use this. It's got a silvery um, border around it. So that'll be sort of my aim for there. But it's going to need to come in quite a bit on the front. But I think I want to collage before I tear it. So... I should be using bigger scissors for this than those little ones. Get this done faster. <laughs> kind of like this bell. So I went and got myself all kinds of Tim Holtz Christmassy things and so far I'm not even using them. That's okay. was colder here today than yesterday but because it wasn't it's not as windy today it didn't feel so bad and you know who is completely tuckered out over there 
Nothing better than a sleeping puppy. I guess the only thing better than a sleeping puppy is a sleeping baby. I used to love when they'd say, you sleep. When, when the baby sleeps, you sleep. And I found I didn't want to sleep when they slept. I just wanted some me time. And I almost preferred sleep deprivation over just having some time to myself, just to do something for me. Either sit and enjoy a show or get something done that, you know? And I guess it might have been wise to take that wisdom, to take that advice. <laughs> when they sleep, you sleep. Um, but I gotta say, I just, I loved having a little bit of me time instead. I'm the kind of person, a nap does, doesn't always make me wake up feeling refreshed. And I'm almost better just staying tired and going to bed early and having a good night's sleep. Even now to this day. Well, now especially, I don't nap anymore during the day because I use a CPAP machine. And it's just too much bother to get that thing hooked up in order to have a nap. And uh, I'd just rather stay awake. All right, not sure yet what I'm going to do. Um, where's my... I'm going to find my collage pieces. Collage pieces. Falling all over the place. You know what? I'm going to use this. This was tucked inside Marmaduke. That's why it's actually folded up to the same size as the book. It was in the book. So let's put it back in the book. I read it over and I think it was because it's a poem by Whittier. So obviously, this family enjoyed his poetry. Uh. Hmm. Sorry, I'm looking for my rough tear ruler. Here's one. This one's not my favorite, but it'll do. Let's just tear it up a bit. didn't do. I didn't set my alarm. Okay, I really am going to need to bring this in to about here and to about here. I wonder if I should tear it ahead of time. I think I should. Wish me luck. There's no going back. And if I ruin this, I'm going to have to find something else to use for the cover, and I really want to use this. Now I'm tearing it in this direction. There's two different ways to tear, and I like, sometimes I like when you can see the paper core. And in this case, I like when you can see the paper core, because, because Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to ink it. Hmm. 
There we go. Let's see. Yeah, that's nice. All right, so. Should have freehanded this in the first place. Oh well. Um, glue stick. I'm going to glue this instead. I think I found a place on this page where it was from the 1930s. So again, I'm hoping that... Now I'm not sure where it was. But, um, so again, it sort of plays into... You know, I tell myself stories in my head as I'm making these journals, who they might have belonged to, why they look the way they look, why the person who started tucking things inside it chose the things they chose. And so a 1930 newspaper article would fit into my imagination that something happened to the text block and it was ruined and a relative saved the cover because they still thought it was beautiful. There, that's... There's my thinking. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if I wonder where it is. The chewed up ghost of Christmas past, or present, that uh, Kirby chewed up yesterday, the day before. She chewed up that picture of the ghost of Christmas. There it is, there it is. Let's put in some of Kirby's little nibble marks. Why not? There's your little teeth marks. I guess it looked like it could be tasty. That's pretty. It says, God heard my prayer.
Got to be careful. I don't want to get glue on the front. Hmm, no. Different color. Mother's love. Probably all going to get covered up by the time I'm done, but oh well. We'll know what's underneath there, right? So much for using these. I think I know what I'll do. Hmm. Where's a page out of the book? Yeah, this is actually out of the book. making a mess here. Well, that's what it's all about, right? <laughs> so, I didn't even use any of the... Oh, well. Oh, well. Any of these. Doesn't mean I won't. There, I like that. This out of the way. I want to save these. They might go somewhere else. It's going to drive me nuts now, the name of the last the tiny little lady in Nova Scotia. She started painting to make bills pay, make ends meet, as many of us do. And just using leftover paints from her husband, painting walls and rooms and things. You're probably all yelling at your screen right now, telling me. Um, coffee. <laughs> oh well. I'm just going to go around on the seams with some of the coffee. But I want dark around the edges. There's glue on that one underneath, and I just know I'm going to get glue on this if I don't cover it up soon.
Now I don't think her edges were torn. They were aged, whether that's an awesome digital or whether that's actual ephemera. That's the beauty of it. You can't tell. The digitals are so good now. And there is a wisdom in digitals because then we get to keep the original ones. I get that. But there's just something really cool about knowing you've got something really old in your book, too. I get that. Let's see. That's what I want. That's what I want. I'm happy. for a second and think. Okay. I got into my Tim. I keep wanting to say Tim Hortons. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me. I'm Canadian. <laughs> when, <laughs> when I go to say Tim Holtz, I want to call it <laughs> Tim Hortons. Canadian. It's a little, still looks a little too new for me. This is coffee. And since that little newspaper clipping that I used to do a lot of the collaging with, I seem to recall was 1930, this was in the Tim Holtz <laughs> kit, and it's 1931, so. Close enough. So let's just put that in there too. Hmm? There we go. Little art glitter glue. Now this one I'm going to make into a little tuck spot in case someone wants to write a secret note in behind and just tuck it in the back. Okay. There we go. I want that on an angle. And I think I can do that as a tucky too. Oh boy, I think I've got to take these lids off and soak them in a mug of hot water. Because they're really, both bottles are just fighting me, fighting me today. And I want that on an angle. Now I'm being careful to leave these areas free. Oh, let's move you Marmaduke. I hope I'm in camera. I'm leaving those free so that if someone wants to tuck there 
or up there. Oh my! That looks like you know who. Hmm. Mona Lisa? All right, so um, then what she did was she used some little squares of fabric on the side. And I think I made mine too small. Maybe not. Let me take a look. Let's see the other side. Starting to think I might want something neutral rather than green. I'm going to pause again and find some neutral. Okay, I think I'm going to use some of this. This, of course, is from my crush, Nancy. One of the things she threw at me and said, Take it! I love that. Two beautiful words out of Nancy. Take it. <laughs> I just want to be able to make two tabs in order to um, put eyelets through. And this is so old that the outer layer of the grow grain is filthy. And <laughs> I like I don't think I'm going to get that mucked up. I might have to use a needle and just tear it up a bit. And we'll see if this works. Where's the filthy side? I like this green. But I'm wondering if it still doesn't, it still gets lost, doesn't it? I have gold. I have a really wide off-white. No, I don't like that either. Back to the baskets. Hold on. All right. Oh, I'm really going over time. I better get this done quick. <laughs> I don't want it too wide. I'm hoping this will let me rip it. Please let me rip it. Sometimes, you know how when you get a small piece of fabric, it sort of says, nah, I'm not going to let you rip me. I like that one because it's not really Christmas, but it's red and green. And that will look good. This is all I've got. If you're wondering why I'm being so frugal with it, I think I'm going to have to. <sighs> all right, the next part I'm going to do with the camera turned off in case there's a lot of blood. Okay, so 
With no bloodshed, I got these prepared and raggedy looking. Now I'm going to pause again. What, I'm just going to get this done because I'm really running out of time. And I want this to dry before I try and go through it with a crocodile. So I'm going to pause again. Be patient with me. We'll get this done. We will. Okay, I think I'm ready. So these are on. I gave myself more room on either side with these. It's almost like mine has wings. I checked hers and she, yes, she did use a really beautiful old postcard and um, she did her fabric flush to the edge of the postcard. But the journal that she was using this as a front decorative plate was is bigger than 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 this little guy so this is going to work for me for my needs and again you know this is how we make things work for ourselves right so i'm going to i'm putting some card stock on the outside um just because sometimes um, even the crocodile does not like going through fabric and sometimes a card having cardstock on the outside of the fabric helps. Like that. So I'm just going to reuse this and eyeball it. There we go. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to because then that defeats the purpose of the cardstock protecting against the fabric. So we're just going to eyeball it and cross our fingers like we did with hoping for no blood, which we did well. Right? Let's just do it, right? Let's just do it. Okay. Um, I'm going to just use some uh, oiled bronze kind of color of eyelet in here. She wiggles her way, I think, so that she thinks she can casually um, get under my desk. That was thick, but that did it. Okay. All right. Yes. We are almost done. Boy, if you're still here, thank you. All right, this might just be the right length. So, she goes in one side. Out other side I've got I'm losing light here let's see if I'm even I'm pretty well even and then this is what she does she ties it around and around I don't think she did it twice, but that works for me. Like that. 
And then when you undo it, maybe I will ease it up. Then when you undo it, let's see what it would look like if it were just a single. I'll have to rewatch and see and decide whether I want double or not. I like this because with soft, I just put the text block back in so we get a better idea of what we're going to be looking at. But with soft ribbons here, it means I can still do my lace that I want to do on the edges of the pages. So that's, that's what all that time took. To do that today so and then we undo it like that and then we can take it off and that will be the cover of our our little marmaduke thanks for joining me today all that time for that <laughs> if you're still here bravo my hat's off to you thanks so much for joining me take care have a great rest of your day i hope you're doing well bye